less cabling, smaller controls cabinet, less heat. Wow, that's all great stuff. I can achieve all this with a decentralized solution like AKD-N? Absolutely, and even more. Decentralized control architecture means shifting the servo drives from the crowded cabinets and moving them near the motors, out on the machine where the action is. Immediately, you can see that this can reduce the size of the controls cabinet, moving all of those drives out onto the machine. But how do I see these other advantages? It's not just about moving the drives out onto the machine, near or integrated with the motors, but also how you design your entire control system. Think about a conventional centralized control architecture, and since we're talking conventional, this likely means multiple cables. That's power and feedback for each motor. So, in a decentralized solution, the motor and feedback cables are condensed into a shorter single cable and field bus communication and power bus are daisy chained from the control through a single cable to each local drive. Let's do the math here. With an 8-axis machine, you have a control cabinet 5 meters from the initial motor and subsequent axes 3 meters apart. This adds up quickly to almost 250 meters of cabling, that's power and feedback, utilizing a centralized approach. Imagine now a decentralized solutions drives located within a meter of the motor they are driving. You cut cabling down to a mere 35 meters. Do the math, an 86% reduction. Throw in extended I.O. and your savings jump to almost 90%. So, point one, substantially reduce cable costs, not just from the mere reduction in cable length, but in reduced costs associated from cable management trays and even the labor to run the cables. But there's more, or do I mean less? Smaller cabinet, less electronics, means less heat to dissipate. Electronics usually don't like the heat, so they tend to desire some cool air, provided by some nice air conditioning system. So, point two, less heat and less need for an expensive air conditioning unit and less energy consumption. And our third point, one element not so readily apparent with a good decentralized design, flexibility. Designing with a decentralized drive architecture allows more flexibility in modularization. It opens up your machine design to new possibilities. Typically, a machine may have a variety of optional accessories depending on the pre- or post-processing tied to that particular machine. A good decentralized approach can allow quick plug-and-play addition of key options which require additional motion elements. All of these advantages help the OEM build a more efficient machine with less components, reduction in assembly time, and more flexibility in design, improving the marketability of the machine. End users enjoy the lower cost of ownership and increased reliability and potential space savings on their factory floor.